Hi, this is Nithya, Department of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Indian Writing in English, Unit 1, Introduction from K.R. Srinivasa Iyengar and C.D. Narasim Maya. First person, K.R. Srinivasa Iyengar was born in the year 1908 and died 1999. Fam he, he was a famous Indian uh, writer in English and he received Sagatya Academy Fellowship in his lifetime. Litton Strache, Indo-Anglican Literature, On the Mother and Shakespeare, these are all the famous works of him. So, introduction about Indian writing. So, he, so this topic, he gave a lecture in the University of Leeds, uh, especially to the literarians. Uh, he gave a lecture about uh, importance of uh, birth of uh, English literature in India and how it became globally famous and also in that lecture he thanked the professor uh, Jeffers uh, uh, he belongs to English literature and then he he's also working in uh, Leeds University because he called the person for the lecture on Indo-Anglican literature and uh, so he also talk about uh, Commonwealth uh, literature, Commonwealth studies because in that university they brought that uh, uh, subject there Commonwealth means it comes under 56 countries. So through that studies they can learn different heritage, culture, aims, ideas and ideals of these 56 countries. And also he talk about the Oten essay uh, named and o Indian literature. So uh, he gave that essay to Cambridge History of English Literature. So these points and all he brought in that uh, introduction part. A next writer, C.D. Narasim Maya. So he brought the importance and ideas regarding Indian English literature, especially he concentrated on the genre of poetry and fiction and how the writers they produced uh, these genres in Indian English, uh, he brought it. And also uh, he, he did the comparative study uh, about Indian literature, British literature, American literature and also other new kinds of literature. And uh, so he critically uh, responses mixed with both uh, so new criticism and also confess and confessed the new approaches in his writings. Unit 2, the poem Paper Boat, it's by Rabindranath Thakur. He was born in the year 1861 and died 1941. He is a miscellaneous person because he is a poet, short story writer, playwright, essayist, painter and song composer. He received Nobel Prize in 1913 for his work Geetanjali. And uh, so this, uh, this topic, uh, Paper Boat, uh, so he shared his childhood, childhood experience. This poem, it is took from the poetry collection Crescent Moon and uh, so here the narrator is a small child and he kept the paper boats on the stream and in that he wrote his name and the village name and uh, kept the shoe leaf flower on that and he reminiscences over it. This is how we can have in the poem paper boat. Next poem, Village Song by Sarojini Naidu. So Sarojini Naidu, she is a political activist, poet and the governor of UP2 and also called as Nightingale of India, Bharat Kokila. These two are the nicknames of her. So in this poem, Village Song, she discussed the traditional women lifestyle, especially village side uh, uh, women lifestyle he dis discussed. Usually in India, so many places, water problem we can have it. So with that uh, present uh, scenario of the village women with the water issue, he discussed uh, in this poem. And also he applied, she applied his, uh, her mythological belief, uh, Ram, Re, Ram. So these kind of the words he expressed her mythological belief. And the next poem, still another view of praise. It's by R.K. Ramanujan. Uh, he was born in the year 1829 and died 1993. He was an Indian poet, scholar of Indian in literature and linguistics. He received a Badmashri, a Sagatya Academy Award and also he skilled in nearly more than five languages. So in this poem, <coughs> he discussed the concept of love and lust. How a Brahmin boy is having a love on a pro young beautiful prostitute lady and how uh, men society they are dominating women and how men they look out uh, women as a lust this is the concept he discussed in this poem next poem 
River Wands or Parthasarathi. He was he was born in the year 1934. Present living writer is a bilingual poet in Tamil and English. Now he is working as a lecturer at Bombay. He discussed the concept of uh, cultural dilemma, alienation, search for identity, and Tamil culture and its roots. And uh, so River once he discussed uh, the situation of uh, Madurai Vaigai River. Once upon a time, how it looked uh, very wealthy, very prosperous, but now how it was changed, how it was degraded by the modern society. That is the concept he discussed in this poem. Next, Unit Three: Steel, Prose, Steel, and Adornment by Mahatma Gandhi. M. K. Gandhi was born in the year eighteen sixty-nine and died nineteen forty-eight. He is a lawyer and a social nationalist, and also he called as a Mahatma and also father of country. <coughs> he followed non-violence in his life. and uh, so steel and adornment is an extract uh, taken from his autobiography the story of my experiment with truth so while he was a small boy so he had a, a impression by his uncle of a smoking habit so he did it for that he steals some amount for getting cigarette after some time he feel ashamed and he stopped that habit so that incident he shared in this prose and uh, and also he tried to commit suicide for his mistake at last he admit his mistake to his father so after that he decided here after i should not do like that and the next prose poetry it is an extract from sir arbin sri arbindo's early cultural writings arbindo was born in the year 1872 and died in 1950 and uh, he is a multi talented person and and he too editor of vande madram newspaper he is a freedom fighter spiritual reformer saint so many things uh, he lived in his lifetime and uh, so this uh, topic consists of uh, literature art and other cultural subjects uh, he dealt generally in early cultural writings so this uh, a collection of writing series uh, uh, written during the year of 1892-1910 on poetry and literature uh, he discussed poetry is very important it brought all kind of emotions it brought uh, attract it has to attract it must delight or sharo whatever it may be to the readers and uh, it is not a easy task to write it so like that about poetry how the poet how a good poetry should be regarding that uh, arbindo he discussed in that topic so third topic address at the final session it's by swami vivekananda vivekananda he was born in the year 1863 and died 1902 his biological uh, real birth name is narendranath datta later uh, he changed his name as swami vivekananda He is a Hindu monk, philosopher, chief discipline of Indian mystic Ramakrishna, and uh, so this address he gave this address in Chicago. Uh, it is a final, final end of the day. He gave that address in the place of Chicago. So he he gone to attend a meeting for Parliament of the World's Religions. So in that he gave that address, and in the end of the address he called as a cyclonic monk. okay so from the people it was happened 27th september 1893 and he appreciated uh, everybody and also the audience and uh, he appreciated the parliament of the world's religion for arranging such a huge uh, religious program and uh, he talked about uh, uh, we should not uh, we should not deviate any kind of religions we have to accept all the thing and all the religions bring holiness purity and charity it's common to all we should not uh, spoil their own customs so like that regard hinduism uh, he talked about religious things he talked about it that's all thank you